Welcome back to Teresa's Den. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth and if you're not into that or weird shit in general, then this is probably not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to the swatches and the review of the products, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. So this is kind of like a weird work story. <laughs> Not to say that my other stories weren't weird, but this actually happened a little while ago, so it wasn't uh, very recently, but something triggered my memory to remind me of this story, and I was like, shit, I need to tell somebody this, because this was too fucking good. Now, I've been in my current job for a couple of years now, but before that, I used to work within the same organization, but in a different capacity. There was one time I noticed there was the Cookie Bandit. Now, you're probably saying, Teresa, what's a Cookie Bandit? There was a period of time around the office that there would be half-eaten cookies just left everywhere. And I know you're probably saying, was it you? Fuck you, it wasn't, okay? If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna eat the whole fucking thing. For like a good couple of months, there was just a rash of half-eaten cookies. It's like left in different areas. Sometimes it'd be on a desk. Sometimes it'd be on a filing cabinet. Sometimes it'd be on the fucking floor. Just amazing. It almost felt like someone would be half chomp, something bad would happen, and they would just leave the cookie and then run. That's what it would look like. Also, it had the perfect bite mark. And I know you're probably saying, how did you know that? Well, after a while, when you start seeing fucking half-eaten cookies everywhere, you start to kind of examine some things. And you notice that, wow, this person bit it in like such a crescent moon shape. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, my job's really that boring, okay? So one day we actually had a, a pretty big department-wide meeting. We were in uh, not like a normal conference room, but it was like a, a pretty big seminar room where there was a lot of chairs and then in the back they had snacks, right? So they had cookies and coffee and tea and water. I grabbed my water, I'm with my coworker, and we sat closer to the front of the room. Our division leader is this just, he's just this animated older guy. Just very loud and everything is exciting and new and it's like fucking amazing. He's just very extra. But he's always a pleasure to watch because you never know what the fuck's gonna happen. So in this particular meeting, he was the one that was kind of kicking it off and kind of giving opening remarks. So he's been going on for about 10 or 15 minutes at this point. When I see, he pulls out a cookie. And now he is conducting this meeting with one cookie in his hand and he's kind of just using his other hand to point to things, but like also wildly flailing around this cookie. So now I'm just staring at him kind of flailing around this cookie. Got to a point where I guess he was about to end his speech. So he dropped the cookie on the floor. The cookie, which was a chocolate chip by the way, rolled away from the podium where he was standing and landed about 10 feet away. Now me and my coworker are pretty much just watching the cookie and we're just like staring at the cookie and then we look back at our leader, our division leader, and we look back at the cookie and we look back at the division leader and our division leader didn't even like flinch at the fact that this cookie dropped. As he was wrapping up his talk, he walked over, grabbed the cookie, and now I'm thinking, you're gonna throw it away. No, 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 man took a bite out of the cookie and then continue to talk. Now I'm gonna stop right here to say that that is really fucking gross. And you're probably saying, Teresa, it's a carpet. Why is it so gross? Bitch, we live in New York City, okay? This shit is gross. I'm actually surprised that people don't buy shoes every day. The amount of shit that you have to go through to go from your house to your job is fucking disgusting, okay? There have been times in my life where things were wrapped and I dropped on the floor and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy a new one. Because I don't know if semen seeped in there. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking people are nasty up in fucking New York. And so the last thing I wanna see is some fucking man eat a cookie that was on the floor and God only knows how many people walked on that spot. But I digress. So I notice he takes a perfect bite and leaves a crescent moon shape. And I thought to myself, oh my God, I think this is this this is him. This is this is my cookie bandit. He walked back over to the podium, placed the cookie on the podium, finished his uh, talk, called the next person up, didn't grab the cookie, and then walked back to his seat. And the guy who was speaking after him, I swear to God, he literally did not make any eye contact with the audience. He just stared at that fucking cookie and talked. And it was probably the best division meeting I have ever attended. <laughs> So it really goes to show no matter how successful you are, when you're gross, you're gross. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Bretman Rock ColourPop collaboration. However, I did not get the full set. So we're gonna just be talking about the two eyeshadow palettes and one of the lip bundles. I got the one wet. So before I give you my overall thoughts, let me read you a little bit about both palettes and the lip bundle. The lip palette retails for $12. She lit AF. Oh, God damn. Features fiery on-trend shades to create the hottest looks from day to night. Rich burgundy and warm gold complement each other for all the drama, while soft warm neutrals create your go-to everyday looks. The Wet Palette retails for $12. She's the palette of your dreams. Features tones of blue and green and the most intense silver metallic shadow to give you all of the Ice Queen vibes. Warm brown transition shades make it easy to complete your look. 
Sorry, I feel like, is it just me or does Rich Lux sound kind of like Cartman a little bit? I mean, I love it either way. Fucking Rich Lux is great. The Wet Lip Bundle retails for $16. Make a Splash features She Cute, a new nude ultra satin lip, BFF3 lippy pencil, and Kumquat Ultra Glossy Lip, a sheer icy blue that adds the perfect amount of glossy shine. I want to say right off the bat, I don't really know a lot about Bretman Rock. I personally have never heard of him up until this year, but he is a pretty successful beauty guru here on the YouTube platform. Wow, I sound really old when I said that. When I saw that he was coming out with a collection with ColourPop, I was intrigued because I really love the concept of it. What interests me about this collection is that it was two sets of items. So it was basically his lit side and his wet side. I don't really, I don't know what, uh, what do you, what do you do when you're wet? Or is it like you're wet? Or is it like you're wet? You know what I mean? <laughs> is it like, oh, you're wet? Or like, oh, you're wet? I feel like I'm too old for this shit. <sighs> anyway, I definitely thought it was a really interesting concept, especially having a very warm palette versus a very cool tone blue palette. So with that said, being that they were $12 a piece, the price was just right and I felt the need to purchase both of them. The other things that were actually in this collection that I didn't purchase were two blushes, some body glitter, and another lip kit, but in the lit formula. So I guess like in a warmer formula. I honestly personally didn't really see a need to have any of that stuff. Fucking I'm 33 years old. Bitch, I don't need no body glitter unless I'm dancing. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna be dancing on a pole anytime soon. I mean, unless you want that, then that costs extra, but Mm, it doesn't really interest me too much. I'm not a festival person. I'm more of a let me stay in my house and be antisocial. So I didn't see the need to get the body glitter and the lip kit for the lit side. And it didn't really interest me that much. I think I more gravitated towards the wet side. Now, with that said, let's talk about the wet palette first. I personally really like this packaging. I think especially for $12, ColourPop is definitely stepping it up, which is really nice. I do love the graphic of him and I'm definitely gonna keep this box because it's, it's just really cute. Inside the box, you get this beautiful silver palette and it has like a sparkly kind of overlay that is not glitter that I like. So if you're sensitive to glitter and you don't want glitter herpes all over you, don't don't touch the, the wet part. <laughs> don't touch the wording on this because this glitter fucking comes out. <laughs> but when you do open her up, you get eight shades, four being mattes and four being shimmers. I like this palette a lot. I actually liked it more than I thought I would. I actually kind of gravitated a little bit more towards the lit palette because it had a beautiful yellow in it. And I was kind of like, eh, all right, you know, it's blues, whatever. But then the more that I was looking at this palette and the more I realized, oh, these are different blues that I don't have in my collection. And they are traditional ColourPop formula, so they have really good mattes and really good shimmers. Yes, there is some kick up. Yes, there is some fallout, especially I found with the shimmer shades, there's actually a little bit of fallout that was kind of intense. If you didn't act fast, you would be cleaning it up with concealer. And I find that that's the case with most blue eyeshadows. I don't fucking know why. I think blue is just a difficult color to make probably, and it just fucking stains your skin. Now, can I say, does this stain my skin? I don't really know because this is the first time that I'm playing with it. I'm hoping it's not. If I remember, I'll leave a pinned comment down below in this video to let you know that if, if this look actually did stain my eyelid. But with that said, I think it's just like a really nice bunch of shades. It's very pretty. The only thing that sucks about this palette, and I find that it's that's usually the case with most ColourPop palettes, is that there's no shade protector in this. So I'm finding that, you know, some of this glitter from the glitter shade in Thickums is actually kind of cross-contaminating with some of the mattes. So that kind of sucks. But I mean, it's kind of an easy fix. You could create your own if you really wanted to, with just get like a, a thin piece of cardboard. But that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it. So for $12, I totally think this is really worth it to go pick it up. I feel like this makes a really nice stocking stuffer gift. So I'm excited to kind of put this in my rotation and play more with the blue shades. I feel like lately I've been kind of getting more into blue eyeshadows in general. And it's, this is just like another nice little guy to have in my collection. So I'm very happy that I picked this up. So the next thing in this collection is the wet lip bundle. And you get lip liner, ultra satin lip, and a lip gloss. Okay, so this thing retails for $16, which is actually kind of funny that it's slightly higher than the eyeshadow palette. However, I don't know how I really feel about this. I definitely like the Ultra Satin Lip. I do like that formula from ColourPop, so I'm fine with that. The gloss is okay. I don't know. I just don't like that kind of uh, wet feeling, <laughs> which is really funny because that's what this collection is. <laughs> I don't like how my mouth kind of just feels like, I don't know, just like juicy. It feels like, 
Like, I feel like everything is everywhere. And it's not. And it's just my own fucking weird paranoia. See, I just kind of touched my face because I thought it may move. And it's definitely my own weird fucking paranoia on this, but... Mm, I don't know. I think I could have dealt without the lip gloss um, in this collection, personally. And the other thing I don't like, too, is... Ugh, by the way, it just looks so milky. You see how it, it stained the brush already? That's why I really don't like lip gloss too much. I find that it just ruins the product. But overall, it's... It's sticky, it's tacky, and if you're wearing your hair down and it flies into your mouth, you're, you're definitely gonna have gloss in your hair, and that sucks. The lip pencil is interesting. One, I don't have a lot of lip pencils in general. I literally think I have like maybe two other ones, and I only got them because they were in subscription boxes. And so I'm really new to wearing lip liners. I never really fucked with them because I thought, <laughs> they're stupid. But now I'm like, oh bitch, you're getting old and your lips are disappearing. So you kind of fucking need it, bitch. So now I'm trying to use it. Now with that said, the only thing that kind of bums me out a little bit is that it doesn't appear to be mechanical so I feel like you know you only have so much product in this and granted it's probably because of my own stupid ass human error that I used a lot of it because I was like how much am I supposed to put on so I think I totally um definitely you know whittled this motherfucker down I don't know like I kind of bums me out that this is not mechanical and that you only have so much product in it so hmm, for $16 is this worth it I guess it really kind of depends on you if it were me I don't think I would repurchase this again because I don't see myself really gravitating towards that gloss or the lip liner. I don't know. So if you are a fan of ColourPop's formula for their ultra satin lip and their gloss and all that shit and you do like it, then I totally think that you should get this. But if you're just like, meh, I only like one of the products, I would skip out and just get one of the products individually and save yourself a little bit of money. And the last thing we're going to be talking about is the lip palette. I'm going to show you actually the red box. So here's the red Bretman package. Honestly, Bretman is gorgeous. So fucking adorable. I love it. The lip palette has the exact same formula as the wet palette. It has the same kind of kick up and fallout with the mattes and the shimmers, a little bit of a bitch to clean up. However, I think it's worse in the wet palette than it is in the lip palette. These colors are really pretty. I think this is just a really nice palette, and especially at like a stocking stuff or something like that, this, this could definitely be that, especially for the price point. However, the more that I was playing with this palette, the more I was starting to realize that it kind of reminds me of the Yes Please palette. So these are the shades that I found looked very similar in the palette. So this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade is from the Yes Please palette, while well, this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade is from the Lip palette. So with that said, while these two may appear to look similar, there are some slight differences with it. So if you do own this palette and you were kind of hesitant about picking this up, the tones in this are slightly different from this palette. However, with that said, you know, do you really need to pick up this palette if you own this palette? Quite frankly, no, because this palette $16. You get a little bit more variety, and I think I like the color story of this one better. It also matches that uh, Natasha Denona Sunset palette. I had no problem with this palette, but I think when you kind of compare it to that one, I think I, my preference lies there. The other thing that's really cool about this palette is this yellow. This is a really good yellow, so if you've just been eyeing it for the yellow, to me it's technically worth the $12 just to get the yellow. I really do like it. I think it's actually very pigmented. Uh, it's actually one of the better yellows that I've seen, and it's, you know, if you like ColourPop formula, you're going to like this, so hmm, not bad. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the collection. Overall, I'm happy that I purchased these items because I definitely think that for their price points, they are perfect. Being that the holidays are just around the corner, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, or if you're just a Jehovah Witness and you don't celebrate any day and it's just a normal Tuesday, I think you'll be happy with receiving one of these items. So congratulations to Bretman. This is a beautiful collection. And I have to say that like fucking packaging wise, absolutely stunning. I hope that this packaging kind of sets a precedence for future ColourPop palettes because shit, like this is gorgeous. I fucking love this. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This is very unique and very different and it's definitely a nice little addition to my eyeshadow collection. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for a notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.